Hi, welcome back. So if someone tells you that the only way to take NMN is sublingually, uh, or they tell you that the best way to take NMN is sublingually, um, then at best they're probably misleading you, uh, and at worst they're lying. Uh, as you know, David Sinclair recently tweeted uh, sublingual nope, uh, which sent the, the community into a bit of a, a flat spin. Um, but I've now got a copy of his newsletter where he explains in detail what he actually meant by the, the statement sublingual nope. So we're going to clear it up, uh, stick around, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about what's in his newsletter next. So those two words, sublingual nope, uh, it's caused a lot of controversy and a lot of conversations in the community of people that take uh, nicotinamide mononucleotide as a daily supplement, uh, me included. Uh, for those that don't know, sublingual administration is where you place a supplement or a compound underneath your tongue and allow said compound to diffuse through your bloodstream, uh, through into your bloodstream. Uh, and some people believe that it is the most effective way of getting uh, a compound or a supplement into your bloodstream. Uh, in his newsletter, David Sinclair writes, uh, it is a good way to get a lot of things into your bloodstream. So they may be right, or they may be wrong. Because when it comes to NAD precursors, there's far more we don't know than we do know. He continues, the best evidence will come when placebo controlled human trials, in brackets, lots of them, have been completed. Until then, anyone who has taken NMN in any way is guessing. We all are. And he's included himself in that, as I do too. Um, although the, the trials on mice, the results have been extremely promising, um, we're only guessing as to whether or not the, the results will be as favourable for, for humans. More interestingly for me, he continues, um, anyone who is selling you NMN as a product and telling you how to take it are also guessing. Um, so this makes me think about companies such as Alive by Nature, who in my humble opinion, have found a niche market for taking NMN uh, and obviously they exploited it they're not in the supplement game to make a loss um, there are many companies that sell NMN as a compound and this is a good way for for a lie by nature and similar companies to distance themselves from the herd of people who are um, selling NMN uh, the other thing I've wondered about the 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 community of people that, that use the mantra sublingual is the only way to take it. Uh, the only trials that have proved positive and we have scientific evidence for are David Sinclair's trials on mice. Um, I'm curious to know how he managed to get his mice to take their nicotinamide mononucleotide sublingually. Well, obviously they didn't. They took it orally. Um, there are also those that talk about the human body, metabolism, etc. And they say that liver, our liver, will um, process NMN differently to the way mice do. Uh, and again, this is just a guess. Uh, it may be an educated guess, but until human trials have been completed, and a lot of them, as David Sinclair says, we are all still guessing. Uh, he also writes in his newsletter uh, that um, he will give you the science and he will tell you what he does, but he will not give you medical advice and he will not endorse any products. Uh, and it's interesting because on other similar channels or YouTube videos I watch where they discuss NMN, a lot of people have said, David Sinclair takes NMN and he gets it from Alive by Nature and he takes it sublingually. And for those of us that have done any research in the subject know that he doesn't take it sublingually. He takes it yogurt uh, in the morning. Uh, 
Um, he then continues, so the sublingual note quote was not advice, but an answer to a question that he was asked. Do you take NMN sublingually? He answered, sublingual, nope. Um, he stresses in his newsletter, however, that he's not saying, he is not saying, should you take sublingual NMN? Nope. Or is sublingual, sublingual NMN any good? Nope. Just, do you take it sublingually? And he has said, no, he does not. He closes by saying, I'm going to do my very best to help you understand the science and I'm going to be as transparent as possible about my own life, but I'm not going to tell you how to live yours. So that that very much clears up the, the confusion. Um, he wasn't saying that you shouldn't take it. He was answering the question, do you take it sublingually? And he was saying, no, I don't. And he's also saying that those people that are telling you that you should take it sublingually are guessing. We're all guessing at this point. Uh, for those that are interested, I do take my um, NMN sublingually, but I'd say out of efficiency, but <laughs> more really out of laziness. It's a lot easier for me um, to take a scoop of NMN that I know, because I'm still at the moment on 500 milligrams, to take one scoop of 500 milligrams, pop it under my tongue, leave the house, and by the time I get to work in the car, which is between 10 and 15 minutes, it is completely dissolved. But to be truthful, um, I'm not too sure how much of the NMN that I put under my tongue actually diffuses into my bloodstream. Um, as soon as you put it in, it's got a, a bitter taste. It reminds me of lemon sherbet. Um, and as soon as I do, my mouth starts to fill with water uh, and I can't not help but swallow. Uh, the reason I buy or the reason I bought NMN powder and not capsules is purely because it was cheaper. If they were going to put the NMN I bought into capsules, they'd have charged me more. So the reason I take powder is because it's cheaper. And the reason I put it under my tongue is it because I don't have to mix it with water and I can be, uh, I can have it administered and be out of the house um, as quickly as possible. So that's it for this video. I hope you found that interesting and I hope that it has allayed a few questions um, to those that weren't too sure exactly what he meant uh, and if people have asked him, as he says in the beginning of his newsletter, uh, his inbox, which is normally full, was even fuller after he made that statement. So I'm glad that he's, he's, um, he's cleared up what he actually meant and also posed a few questions. If those that are taking it sublingually are guessing because it's not proven that it's more efficient to take it that way than to take it orally then some of the claims made by companies such as uh, Alive by Nature are bogus. Um, there is no evidence to say that either way is more effective um, so you can you can pay your money you can take your chances. Um, that's it for now look forward to my um, next video which is probably going to be my update on my statistics and um, how the my NMN experiment is actually going. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.